All right, here's another example of a homemade TV antenna you can build with some easy to find materials. A length of copper wire, a 75 ohm transformer, some coaxial cable and a piece of one by four lumber. So what I did to make this is took a piece of eight gauge solid copper wire. I had this piece laying around that was about 64 inches long. So basically I cut it in half and then formed a couple of little hooks or loops on the end there so that I can screw each element to the board. Now there is a space here of about a half an inch. That's important because you don't want your elements touching each other because that'll short out your signal. And underneath the screw, I also added the, the spade lugs for the 75 ohm matching transformer. And this is important because what this does is minimizes signal loss between your elements and your coaxial cable. I also added a couple of little staples here and here just to keep these elements from sagging down and those seem to hold the elements uh, upright nicely. Now as a little added safety measure I'd recommend that you take a pair of pliers and just twist the ends of the elements around into a loop like this and that will prevent someone from poking their eye or scratching themselves on the ends of these wires but that's up to you. Just a couple of details to watch out for as I said it's important to have a space between your elements you want about a half an inch space these should not touch if they touch you're going to short out your signal and you won't get any tv channels and i also used a couple of straps and a plastic staple here to keep the coax cable in place some people might say that this is not a good idea because this would crush the dielectric insulation in the coaxial cable and it is a little snug on there but there's a little bit of wiggle room i just didn't want this cable pulling on the transformer wires and breaking them and on the bottom i also added this cross brace here that's about two feet long and that is so if i lean it up against the wall or a fence it won't fall over although you could easily attach this to a post or a fence board with a couple of screws this is known as a dipole TV antenna because it has two poles or elements that meet in the middle, but they never touch. They are connected to this 75 ohm transformer here. And you can cut these elements to a specific length to receive a certain frequency. Each RF TV channel operates at a certain frequency, and that's determined by the wavelength of the channel. So cutting these to a certain length will optimize them to receive certain channels over others. When you're making a dipole TV antenna like this, there is actually a method involved. The length of your copper wire elements can actually be calculated for a specific frequency or if you will, a specific RF channel. And if you look in the description of the video, you're going to find two links, one of them is a dipole antenna calculator and all you have to do there is enter the frequency of the channel you want to receive and it will calculate the length of the elements for you the second link is a table that gives you all of the frequencies for each of the rf tv channels from 2 to 36. you can take that information and add the frequency into that calculator and that will tell you how long your elements need to be now these ones here given that they're about 64 inches in length. Actually put these somewhere in the FM radio band if you want to get technical, but these are plenty long enough to receive the TV channels in my area. I have three channels that broadcast on the VHF band, on the low VHF band, channels two and four, and high VHF channel nine. If I was to cut this for RF channel two, then these elements would need to be about eight feet long in total and that would be problematic when you're using wire because they would just be sagging and drooping all over the place and i didn't want that plus this was the wire i had laying around so this is what i went with 
Not only does the matching transformer convert your TV antenna element leads to coaxial cable, but it also reduces the amount of resistance the signal flowing between your elements and the coaxial cable, which reduces overall signal loss between the two. And the 75 ohm matching transformer can easily be found at most hardware stores or you can order one online. And keeping it simple, I just have this homemade antenna leaning up against the fence for now. It's pointed in the direction of my local broadcast towers. All of the stations, as I said, transmit on the VHF band and also transmit with pretty low power levels, 1.2 kilowatts and 4.5 kilowatts. And I'm about seven miles through the air from the broadcast towers. So we'll see how this antenna does. So my homemade copper wire TV antenna seems to be doing a very good job picking up my local TV stations. RF channel two CKPR is coming in with a nice stable signal strength in the high 70s and low 80s. That signal is really not moving around too much. The thick copper wire seems to really be keeping that signal stable. Uh, also, I can't really remember any store-bought antennas except for the Televistat Boss that were able to pull this channel in with such a high signal level. RF channel 4 CHFD is also coming in with a stable signal, albeit in the lower 70s, and RF channel 9 TVO coming in with a nice stable signal in the mid 70s. For a few bucks in common materials, this is a pretty good TV antenna. I always find these kinds of projects fun to build. Yes, you can go out and buy a TV antenna that looks better and might last a little longer, but this one here, you can build it from materials you might have laying around your garage or shed. And if one of the wire elements bends a little bit, all you gotta do is straighten it out. So there's really not a lot of loss here in terms of working capital. If you are a DIY minded kind of person, then you can make a simple TV antenna to receive your local broadcast stations without breaking the bank.